Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Katniss again. Don't mind the laundry in the back. I am <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing them, okay? <laughs> anyway, um I wanted to do a little different kind of video today. Um I'm getting ready to stream and as you can see I'm barefaced, y'all. I don't even got no eyebrows. Who am I? I wanted to do a type of video where I'm just like doing my makeup, kind of sharing some tips because I have been doing my makeup for how long? Um, for years now, years, 20, wait, how old am I? Yeah, 20 years. I did go to beauty school in like 20, what year is it? I don't even know what year, holy hell. It's been a long time, okay? So I did go to beauty school. Uh, I know you can't tell because my hair is whack right now, but this is first session. I just did it, so don't judge me. Don't judge me, okay? I always wanted to make this kind of video even when I wasn't really making any YouTube videos. So today, after all of that being said, today I wanted to do a video where I do my my go-to makeup i don't want to say everyday makeup because in reality my everyday makeup is literally just my eyebrows skincare eyebrows that's it but like when i do a full face i want to show you guys what i do so let's get started one two three of course skincare is so important um, I already did my skincare routine, which is just the COSRX eye cream. I also use the COSRX Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I think this is so good. I was using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, but I feel like this gives my skin a lot more hydration, especially in the winter. I've also been using this Origins, Origins Ginseng for a moisturizer i think it's really good but the one i usually use i'm gonna put it up here i say i usually use it but i just found it not too long ago it is the i think it's like a in a vino oat milk moisturizer thing dude that at the beginning of winter my skin was so bad especially these two parts next to my mouth like the corners of my mouth it would start to turn gray because that's just how my skin is when it gets super dry and i couldn't figure out what i could use that could help that and actually i even bought a peter thomas roth moisturizer to try and help it and it didn't freaking work so usually when i start i do my skincare and I start with my eyebrows. I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I like it, dude. I think I've been using this stuff for years. And even though um some people will ask me they're like does it does it just rub off? Well, yeah. I mean, if you're like pressing your finger on the thing, it's gonna rub off, but like i've worked out with it i've gone running with it and it would stay in place so i think this thing is amazing i'm a 90s baby literally 1990 so i have no hair all of y'all that do the beautiful eyebrow feathering thing i'm jealous i'm jelly soups jelly okay i can't do that so what i like to do is put lots of product at the end of my eyebrows and then i'll just like i won't add more product towards the middle i'm not super clean with them because i'll show you guys i do use my um my concealer to clean it up and make it snatched honestly i'm really not good with like the gradient you know like light to dark kind of stuff so I try. I try really hard. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. Another tip too that I just learned not too long ago. When you put like all your skincare stuff and then you start doing your eyebrows. I don't know if you guys noticed but it gets like kind of slippery. The product gets kind of slippery and then 
it just doesn't look as nice and for me it doesn't look as nice like the eyebrow it just doesn't go on right or i don't know it's kind of slippery and whatever so if you have time you can let your moisturizer dry or my eyebrows aren't as like dry so sometimes i'll just put my moisturizer around it after i put my eyebrows on i hope that makes sense <laughs> but that honestly that tip helped me so much it made it a lot easier to put my um to put the product on without it slipping and sliding and then once i'm done putting my eyebrows on i will use my um eyeshadow primer to clean up the bottom and then i use concealer to clean up the top i will say that a lot of people don't like using their concealer to clean up the top of the eyebrows it does leave kind of like a lighter shade on the top so you can always use your foundation if you don't want it but to me it doesn't really bother me so i still just use it you can always blend it out better too so so i do use this like it's just a regular ulta beauty brush ulta beauty flat concealer 30 i personally like these the best sorry it's kind of like bah. i personally like using these the best but i mean you can use whatever you feel more comfortable with that's that's really all that matters because whatever tools you're more comfortable with the better like the better it's gonna go on sometimes it just takes learning how to use a new tool whatever but i think these are do you like how every time i start doing something I just shut up. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how people like talk and do it at the same time because I get so scared that I'm gonna mess something up. Like I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna move, and it's gonna like get effed. <laughs> I do certain things in a specific order because I feel like it really helps the process. So instead of putting on my eyeshadow right now, what I do at this stage is put primer on so that i can let it like sit and settle so i actually use the power grip primer plus four percent niacinamide by elf i'm sorry i know it's backwards but anyway this is what it looks like super cheap ten dollars but man it's such a good primer these bangs are killing me hold on hold on Maybe this will help. Is my bangs going to be stuck in this position? Okay. And then you can just use whatever fluffy brush you have. And use your bronzer. I am using the Hula Caramel from Benefit. And just use that as your eyeshadow. I realize after spending so much money on like palettes and stuff like that, I like just using one or two colors honestly one on the daily but if i do want to do you know some nice eyeshadow makeup then i will use other colors but most of the time this is just my go-to so you don't need so many palettes okay i know they're pretty and i know the colors are nice but you only use them once in a while if you are like me you only use them once in a while so you don't need them you don't need them i'm sorry i love you but just buy a singular, just buy one of those singular eyeshadows that come with just one color or just use your bronzer. I still have palettes sitting in my drawer, which if you've seen my room reset, you have seen me like fixing, you know, uh, organizing my drawers with them in there. Yeah, it makes me sad. I need to use them more often, but. <sighs> okay. Let me wet my, uh... oh my god, I forgot that I did this the other day. I went <laughs> into the bathroom to wet my beauty blender sponge and I freaking threw it in the trash because 
I'm an idiot. So I'm just gonna use a foundation brush. I like using beauty blenders. I don't know, I go back and forth between them, but beauty blenders have mostly been my go-to. I am using a Charlotte Tillsbury foundation. I've had lots of issues find like matching my colors, but I found I found that Charlotte Tillsbury and House of Labs, the uh, Lady Gaga's foundation have always been like my closest. I like to match it to my neck. My face is a lot more pink than my body. <laughs> also, you don't need to buy designer, should I say designer? I guess fancier, buy from fancier brands, basically. You don't have to buy from Sephora or from Ulta or whatever. If you have foundation that works from CVS or Longs, oh, Longs, that's, that's in Hawaii, so I don't think there's Longs anywhere else, actually. <laughs> CVS or Target or wherever, dude, do your thing. I try to buy things that just work for me. Sometimes, sometimes it is a drugstore brand. Sometimes I do have to go to like Sephora and also for the nicer brands but if I can save money I'm saving money in this economy we ain't trying to we're trying to survive out here maybe I'll go back to using this brush because I kind of like it and don't forget your nose and don't forget your nose cracks <laughs> your nose cracks right here I forget them all the time cool then next, I will use my concealer. I only do it on my under eye because, you know, as you get older, lines come out of nowhere. I got some eye bags. So, you know what? I only do it on or under my under eye. And then I blend it out. You know what makes me, like, super sad, though? I still do follow a lot of, like, makeup pages and whatever on Instagram. There's this one Instagram page that will just put up videos um, from other creators, you know, of them doing their makeup or whatever. And then I'll see a lot of comparison like 90s makeup or 2000s makeup or 2010 or 2020. This is what makeup should look like now in 2024. And it's like, who cares? Makeup is fun. It's creative. You can do whatever the hell you want. Just do whatever you want. Like. That's fine. I'm sorry. I still do the, I don't know what, I don't know what they call it. Like Instagram eyebrow or Instagram glam or whatever. Who cares? Like if you like what it looks like at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You know what I mean? And the most beautiful thing is you don't have to do the same thing every day. If you want to change it up in the future, you can, and you're not wrong. So it's all good. Just do whatever works for you. Yes. I do use the Hourglass Concealer. Dude, let me tell you about concealers, okay? I know that Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer is super popular. I know Benefit's concealers are super popular. But if you can afford a little bit higher price, Hourglass... I'm telling you, Hourglass is so good. I am gonna be rebuying it when I run out because my my under eyes hardly crack and your girl's got lines i'm 33 it's fine it's fine to have lines when you get older that's just what happens but i do have lines and i kind of want to not hide them but like not have them as prominent and we all know that throughout the day makeup starts to seep into your your freaking all your things on your face so i really like that it doesn't do it as much one thing i was taught was to use your concealer let it sit for a couple minutes and then you use a powder which i'm using a pressed powder which is a studio max fix studio max studio mac fix <laughs> you press it on after letting it settle and then use your um your loose powder to bake i don't know if baking is still a thing but i still do it and i don't 
don't have issues with it being dry or cakey or anything. If you do have any issues that you want to address like with your makeup routine, I would suggest changing one thing up at a time because if you change everything up and it doesn't work, you don't know which part didn't work, if that makes sense, which product didn't work for you. So try to adjust one thing at a time and go from there. Just cake that shit, just put that shit on. Then I will actually use a fluffy brush to set my foundation. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Some people will use their pressed powder. I like to use a loose powder because usually, you know, people buy the translucent powders that doesn't have any color. So it doesn't like mess up your foundation color or anything like that. And then this is when I do my contour. I quotation mark that because honestly, I'm not really good at it. I'm using blush. I'm using e.l.f. blush. I think e.l.f. blush is so cute. Now for eyeliner. I will stand by this forever. This is a KVD tattoo eyeliner in black, trooper black. It is the um, brush tip, not the felt one. I personally have an easier time doing eyeliner when it's a brush tip instead of a felt tip. And I feel like it doesn't run out as fast. It is waterproof liquid eyeliner. So if you don't like waterproof or if you don't like liquid, then you might have to find something else. I think they do have a pencil eyeliner though. I freaking love, I love this one, KVD. It's, the name is like three like Latin letters now or some something like that. I don't know, but I usually do cat eyes. I've been doing cat eyes since I was younger. And um, every time I don't do cat eyes, honestly, I feel fucking weird. <laughs> Okay, and then I I used to not do this, but lately my eyes have been watering a lot. Um, and then throughout the day, especially the outer corners of my eyes would be kind of like, it would, it would just look kind of whack. One thing that I've been doing lately is just using like a pencil brush and I would use my uh, bronzer and I'll use it on the lower lash area nice so i would use it on my lower lash area because especially in the corners it would kind of it would kind of mask when it starts to look whack at the end of the day and then the last few things that i like to do is use your setting spray okay setting spray is good for you setting spray is good for you use your setting spray I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's good to be honest. <laughs> I've tried other setting sprays, but I just always keep going back to that one. And then I always put on false lashes. If I do a full face, I always have false lashes. I can't do a full face without it. It just feels too weird. This one is called Aloha from the lash label the company is lash label the brand is from back home in hawaii you know you can get whatever from target and sally's those are all good options always i've just started ordering from them again i remember why i love their lashes okay their lash designs are just super nice and i really like i've been aloha is a little more wispy but I love like the long wispy ones or the very full dramatic lashes just because I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have long lashes. I have straight lashes and it pisses me off, but it's okay. And my favorite lash glue is the duo, the blue duo lash glue. It is freaking top tier. Blue or green, you can use blue or green. The trick is you wanna put on the glue and then let the glue sit let it get a little sticky 
and then you can place it on your eyes because if you just try to do it right away it's just going to be slipping and sliding everywhere so you want to let it get a little tacky so it it's a little easier to put it on so i also know that a lot of people like to they like to use mascara and curl their eyelashes before they put their fake lashes on that way it'll like melt into each other i don't know like every time i use mascara i always end up looking like a raccoon okay after you somehow get your lashes on oh my god <laughs> look at what the clip did to my hair <laughs> it has a little like bump after I, I do my lashes, the last thing I do is put on my lips. I'll most of the time use chapstick or I'll use this Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. I love this thing. It says that it has like plumping properties, but I don't know. I like it because I like the color and it actually keeps my lips moisturized. This one is the hibiscus color. I think I've also used rose before. They do have a clear one too though. I normally don't like using lip gloss because I feel like I look tacky in lip gloss. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Okay. This is the final look. Mm. 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 Hey, I I like doing this makeup. I feel like it's very simple. I know it's taken a lot longer for me to actually finish my makeup today, but usually it takes me pretty quick. Maybe it takes me like 30 minutes, hour max, depending on if I get like distracted with videos or texting or whatever. But um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of these kinds of things, uh, get ready with me or some other type of um, makeup look or even like some hair stuff, let me know. I, well, maybe not on the hair stuff because I'm not like too big on doing hair, but um, makeup, definitely. If you like this video, please like, Leave some comments below of certain products that you use that you think that I might like. Um, I'll try to link all the products that I've used today in the description box below. And subscribe because there will be more videos to come. So yeah, thanks for joining me today. I hope the next time I make a video, my hair won't be looking all crazy. But, but no promises. No promises. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye!